Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for December the 28th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA Thoughts for the Day Keynotes We can try to stop making unreasonable demands upon those we love. We can show kindness where we had shown none. With those we dislike, we can begin to practice justice and courtesy, perhaps going out of our way to understand and help them. Whenever we fail any of these people, we can promptly admit it, to ourselves always, and to them also when the admission would be helpful. Courtesy, kindness, justice and love are the keynotes by which we may come into harmony with practically anyone. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 93 Thought to consider. Let us always love the best in others and never fear the worst. Acronyms. How. Honest, open-minded and willing. Just for today. Apology. From. Our side of the street. I made amends to my dad soon after I quit drinking. My words fell on deaf ears since I had blamed him for my troubles. Several months later, I made amends to my dad again. This time I wrote a letter in which I did not blame him or mention his faults. It worked, and at last I understood. My side of the street is all that I am responsible for, and thanks to God and AA, it's clean for today. Daily Reflections, page 259. Daily Reflections, suit up and show up. In AA, we aim not only for sobriety, we try again to become citizens of the world that we rejected and of the world that once rejected us. This is the ultimate demonstration toward which 12th step work is the first but not the final step. As Bill sees it, page 21. The old line says, suit up and show up. That action is so important that I like to think of it as my motto. I can choose each day to suit up and show up or not. Showing up at meetings starts me toward feeling a part of that meeting, for then I can do what I say I'll do at meetings. I can talk with newcomers and I can share my experience. That's what credibility, honesty and courtesy really are. Suiting up and showing up are the concrete actions I take in my ongoing return to normal living. As Bill sees it, back to work. It is possible for us to use the alleged dishonesty of other people as a plausible excuse for not meeting our own obligations. Once, some prejudiced friends exhorted me never to go back to Wall Street. They were sure that the rampant materialism and double-dealing down there would stunt my spiritual growth. Because this sounded so high-minded, I continued to stay away from the only business that I knew. When finally, my household went broke, I realised I hadn't been able to face the prospect of going back to work, so I returned to Wall Street, and I have ever since been glad that I did. I needed to rediscover that there are many fine people in New York's financial district. Then, too, I needed the experience of staying sober in the very surroundings where alcohol had cut me down. A Wall Street business trip to Akron, Ohio, first brought me face to face with Dr. Bob, so the birth of AA hinged on my effort to meet my bread-and-butter responsibilities. Grapevine, August, 1961 Big Book Quote Sometimes we hear an alcoholic say that the only thing he needs to do is to keep sober. Certainly, he must keep sober, for there will be no home if he doesn't, but he is yet a long way from making good to the wife or parents whom for years he has so shockingly treated. Alcoholics Anonymous Into Action, page 82. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. AA may be human in its organisation, but it is divine in its purpose. The purpose is to point me toward God and the good life. My feet have been set upon the right path. I feel it in the depths of my being. I am going in the right direction. The future can be safely left to God. Whatever the future holds, it cannot be too much for me to bear. I have the divine power within me to carry me through everything that may happen. Am I pointed toward God and the good life? 
Meditation for the day. Although unseen, the Lord is always near to those who believe in him and trust him and depend on him for the strength to meet the challenges of life. Although veiled from mortal sight, the higher power is always available to us whenever we humbly ask for it. The feeling that God is with us should not depend on any passing mood of ours. We should try to be always conscious of his power and love in the background of our lives. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel that God is not too far away to depend on for help. I pray that I may feel confident of his readiness to give me the power that I need. Hazelden Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.